Hi, let's learn something about angle properties of a circle. The question we have here reads, in the figure below, O is the center of the circle, CD and FD are tangents to the circle at C and F respectively, so we can see that. So we have CD and FD tangent to the circle at C and F respectively. Angle DCE is 30 degrees, that is here, DCE, and angle CDF is 40, that is CDF, right here, 40. ABC is a straight line, ABC is a straight line, and BC is equal to BF. BC is equal to BF. Then the question that follows, find giving reasons the angles. So we have angle FCE, angle CBF, angle EFD, angle BC, O, and finally the reflex angle FOC. In such questions, we are required to first of all fill in the missing angles in the diagram using all the properties necessary and then from there you can now go ahead and answer the questions as required well let's begin we will use the angles that you already given to arrive at the other angles which are missing we have here the tangent cd and tangent fd one thing we need to note here is that if we have the tangents meeting externally, like we have it here, then the two tangents should be equal in length. And if they're equal in length, we can join F to C. And when we join F to C, that means we already have some triangle here, CDF. Triangle CDF is an isosceles triangle. And because it's an isosceles triangle, if we have the angle here as 40, then the base angles should be equal. And part of the base angle here we are given as 30. So what is remaining here should be 40. It's 40 because the base angles should be 70 in size. That is, if here is 40, we are remaining with 140. 140 divided by 2 so that we share to the base angles that should be 70 and 70 so here is 40 degrees and also we have this chord chord f e chord f e subtends angle 40 at point c as you can see and the same chord f e makes an angle with the tangent f d now we can see the property angles in alternate segments are equal so 40 for angle at C should be equivalent to this angle here, which is also 40 degrees. Another thing, we have line OC. OC is the radius of the circle and it should also be equal to OF, which is also the radius. And if that is the case, that means that OC F is an isosceles triangle and therefore these two angles here should be equal in size. Before we get that angle, we therefore need to see another property here. A line passing through the center of a circle will always meet a tangent to the circle at the point of tangents at 90 degrees. That means the radius of a circle meets the tangent line CD at the point of tangent C at 90 degrees. So the whole of this angle here should be 90 degrees. And if it is 90 degrees and we already have this as 70, 40 plus 30, we are left with angle 20 degrees right there. And as we had seen earlier on, OCF is an isosceles triangle. And that means that the base angles should be the same. So if here is 20, then here also is 20 degrees. And again, angles of a triangle should add up to 180. So if here is 20 and here is 20, we remain with 140 at this point here. 
Again, we need to see code F, C, this code that we introduced here, subtends an angle of 140 degrees at the center of the circle, and the same code should therefore subtend an angle of 70 degrees here. Remember, angle subtended at the center of a circle by a chord is twice the angle subtended at the circumference by the same chord. So FC subtends 140 at the center and 70 at the circumference. Another thing, BC is equal to BF. That means triangle BCF is an isosceles triangle and therefore the base angles are equal. So if the angle here is 70 degrees, then the base angles should be 55 degrees because we are remaining with 110 degrees so that the sum of the angles in the triangle is 180. So if the whole of this angle is 55, that means at this point we are left with 35 degrees we should be the same as this part, 35 degrees. Again, angles about a point should add up to 360 degrees. So at point O, if the angle here is 140, then we are remaining with 220 degrees, so that it's all 360 degrees. We can also see that B, C, E, F is a cyclic quadrilateral. And because it's a cyclic quadrilateral, this angle here and this angle here should be supplementary. That means they should add up to 180 degrees. So if we have here as 70, then this should be 110. Now what other angles are remaining? This angle right here. So we have called BF subtending the whole of this angle here at C that is at the circumference, and this is 55, and the same chord BF makes an angle with tangent FD. So angles in alternate segments are equal, so this angle and the whole of this angle here at C should be equal. So this is 55 degrees. You could also argue angles in a straight line should add up to 180 degrees. That is after finding this angle here. So let's find it. Here is 110, here is 40, that is 150. That means we are remaining with 30 to get the angle sum of the whole of this triangle as 180 degrees. Again, here, arguing the same way, angles in a straight line should add up to 180 degrees. This is 55 degrees. Another one is right here, angles in a straight line should add up to 180 degrees, so this is 110 degrees. So at this point I believe we are good to go. Find giving reasons the angles FCE. Angle FCE is right here, angle FCE, so that is 40 degrees, as we had seen. FCE is 40 degrees. And the reason we'll give here is that, remember we obtained here as 40 by simply considering the whole of this triangle and the base angles were equal, it was an isosceles triangle. And from that we get the reason, base angles of isosceles triangles are equal. That is the reason. Next, we are looking for angle C, B, F, that is, let me write this so that we see them as angles. Angle C, B, F, and C, we have C, B, F, it is 70 degrees. And we argued that the angle subtended at the circumference is half the angle at the center. That is, if they are subtended by the same chord, like here we had chord FC subtending 140 here and 70 at the circumference. The reason is angle subtended at the center of a circle 
is twice that subtended at the circumference by the same code so it should be the same code subtending both angles then but see we need angle EFD angle EFD we have it here as 40 and you obtain that by identifying this angle here so we had code FE subtending 40 at point C and it should be the same as this angle here angles in alternate segments are equal I hope you remember that so EFD is 40 degrees the reason angles in alternate segments are equal next angle BCO B C O that is 35 I hope you remember how we got 35 the base angles of triangle B C F were equal B C F was an isosceles triangle because B C and B F are equal so that is how we arrived at 35 the whole of this was 55 so this is 35 B C O is 35 degrees and the argument is base angles of isosceles triangle are equal these statements must be complete some students are fond of just stating base angles of isosceles triangle what about it you must state that they are equal that is the property and finally we have reflex angle foc so angle foc we have angle foc the reflex angle is the one greater than 180 degrees and that is 220 220 degrees how we obtained that was that because we already had this as 140 we said angles about a point add up to 360 degrees and that is how we got 220 degrees by simply taking 360 minus 140 so the argument is angles about a point add up to 360 degrees and that is it for this question thank you for your patience i hope to see you in the next video bye